You know, brothers, you have to understand something. You have to understand what it really means for a man to bring a woman into his life, right? And when I say this, I'm really talking to, I'm really talking to the brothers, man, that are, that are finding self. I'm really talking to the brothers, man, that are, that are stepping out of this, you know, uh, uh, stepping out of the trance and stepping into, you know, their I am and are stepping in front, you know, stepping into uh, becoming men of purpose. I'm really talking to these guys, man. And the reason I'm talking to these, these brothers is because you have to understand, man, that when you bring when you bring a woman to your life, you you coming from one of two mindsets, right? Either you're still a drifter, or you're a man that's plugged in. But either way, man, you have to understand that that the mindset behind behind either one of these man is completely different than the other. You know what I'm saying? You have to look at you know when when a, when a man that's drifting is bringing a woman into his life, right? You have to understand, man, that this man's primary you know, drive behind, behind even having a woman in his life is, is sex based. The main thing this man wants is sex. He wants a cute woman. He wants a, he wants a, a woman on his shoulder that, that the brothers outside of, of, of him can say, you know what? Oh man, that brother got a, got a pretty cute, cute woman on his side. If she checks those two or three boxes, she's good, man. That's the drifter. That's all he requires. But you have to understand, man, when, when, when you're plugged in, when you're, when you're a man of purpose, like we say all the time, man, brother, it's a whole different mindset when it comes to you having a woman in your life, right? First, you got to understand, man, that when, that when a man is in this energy, he's in, he's in a spot where he really doesn't, doesn't need a woman in his life for, for a long spell of time because he's working, he's grinding, he's, he's doing certain things, but a time will come. A time will come in that man's life where it's time for expansion, man. And that, that's, when the, uh, that's when the order of having a help meet comes into a man's life. And I'm telling you, when a man is just looking for some, some, some uh, uh, cute thing on his side and he's looking for, you know, uh, a purpose-driven woman because he's a purpose-driven man, brother, I'm telling you, it looks completely different. It looks completely different, man. First thing you got to understand, man, is, 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 is when a man is in this energy, brother, a, a, a sister coming in your life has to be an instrument in your life. Like she has to be an instrument. Like your life is going a certain way, man. Your life is moving. You're checking certain boxes every day. Like for just a woman to come in your box, she has to fit that mold you've created in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I don't care if that means she, she's at home taking care of home so you can move in a certain way or if it means, you know, now she's going to be integrated into your business, man. It has to be along the lines of just a woman coming to your life that can look good. You know, she's not at home purposely raising the kids and, and, and managing the household for you. Just looking good and, and being some, someone that you can lay up with, man, and someone that you can with a, with a fat ass or whatever, man. Brother, that just don't cut it anymore, man. Because you have to understand, man, that if she's not a part of your purpose, she's actually pulling from it. If she's not a part of that purpose, man, she's actually pulling from it. And this goes back to why a lot of men, I'm going to tell you this, brother. If you know a man, if you know, I'll say this. If you know 10 men that are married and these 10 men aren't, aren't associated or aren't plugged into their purpose or aren't moving how they want to move, out of those 10 men, man, I can guarantee you eight of them are miserable. Eight of them are miserable. First off, because they aren't moving in their highest light. And uh, the thing is, now they're looking at a woman that they chose, you know, in this low vibrating energy that's keeping them from going there. I'm going to tell you this, man. It's, it's, it's hard, almost impossible to, to elevate in life, to step into your purpose. If, if, you're, if you're energetically tied to a woman that's not on your same page. And I'm not talking about a woman that's moving bad or talking about a 95. I'm not, I'm talking about a solid, good woman that makes a good wife. If she isn't tied to your purpose, brother, she's actually pulling from it. She's actually pulling from it, man. That's why, I, and I talked about this yesterday, bro. In a video made yesterday, man, I talked about that everything you interact with, man, like the pendulum, the pendulum is swinging between you and everything. So part of your creation is part of that person's mindset. That person's moral, that person's being, that person's I am. So now you have to understand, brothers, the importance of, of a woman being, being 
you know, just like you, moving just like you, man. I'm telling you, man, if she's not adding to your purpose, brother, even a good woman can pull from your purpose. So the question you have to ask yourself, man, is, is she a helpmate or is she a hindrance? Is she a helpmate or is she a hindrance, man? Again, she has to move just like you, bro. But this is the thing, man. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that she has to be, you know, I'm not saying that every single thing about her has to be exact. Like, for example, for example, like, I'm not saying that if you're an introvert, that, that if she's an extrovert, that, oh, man, it ain't going to work. Like, I, I believe that I believe that there are some benefits of having a woman that, that's opposite in certain things. For example, you know, I can be uh, introverted. I have some introverted ways. And I've dated women that were in, uh, uh, extroverted. And there are some benefits to that if there's a healthy balance. You know, I've been I've been taken to certain events and, and I've been put in positions to rub shoulders with certain people that benefited me. And all that was due to the person that I that, that I was with, man, was was always, you know, always knew about the hottest events and always knew about that. So I'm not talking about uh, uh, opposites. There could be benefits in things like that. I'm talking about when it comes to uh, uh, morals, values, ethics, belief. I'm talking about that real stuff, man. If she's not on that certain that same page as you, brother. Brother, I'm telling you now, and again, I'm speaking to the brothers that are, 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 are just now finding themselves, just now stepping into that I am. I'm telling you, man, when you get to the point where you're going to choose a woman, understand what I'm saying. She has to move just like you, brother. She has to move just like you because odds are she, she's going to be one of, the, one of the first members of your, your, your expanding team. She's going to be one of the members of one of your, of your expanding team. I was talking to my brother Wesley this morning, man. Remember the power circle, man. Lives here in East Texas. Brother owns a successful um, a construction company. Beautiful family. Athletic kids. Wonderful wife. Just life is good, man. And I'll go to that brother so oftentimes, man, and just ask him about life questions. And this morning, man, him were talking about his wife, you know. Uh, he was like, yeah, man, you know what, man, one thing, one thing I love about my wife, man, he said, I've seen her. He said, I've seen her start off in her career, and, and she's working maybe this, this real small end job, and I've seen her progress and do these great things in her career, man. He said, man, there's something about that, man, that just, that just does it for me. I said, brother, you, 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 you like that in her because that's how you move. Like, you went from, from X, and now you've built, you, you know, you're in the process of building your own empire. I said, you see that same light that's in you. So a lot of that is why you're attracted to her, man. And then he was talking about, man, like, like yeah, man, I can't see, I can't see wifey doing, like, like I, I want her on my team. Like, I'm building an empire. Like, I want her to be a part of this. When I'm, when I'm making certain moves, when I need certain things done, like, it feels good to have wifey right there, man, that can, that can run errands or do paperwork. or do, Like, she's a part of my team. And I'm telling you, brother, if you don't have that, if you don't have that going forward in your, in your life, if you're not desiring that from the woman you bring it on, brother, I'm telling you, it's better off to stay single. It's better off to stay single for uh, brothers. And that's a whole nother conversation, man, because a lot of us, a lot of us have to get, get comfortable in, in solitude, man. Because when, when, I'm going to say this, bro. When you're talking about bringing a woman in your team, if you aren't in a healthy state by yourself, Brother, no, no woman is going to bring you happiness. No woman is going to bring you fulfillment. And I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of guys don't understand that. A lot of, a lot of guys are putting themselves in situ uh, situations, relationships, because they think that, you know, that's going to complete them. If you aren't the complete man rolling solo, brothers, you'll never find it. You'll never find it, man. You know what I'm saying? A, a, man, has to be, a man has to be comfortable with living life in solitude. Living life in solitude, but but at the point in time he does choose to bring a woman to it into his circle, but she has to be an extension of you. She has to be an extension of you, man. Like I said yesterday, man, a woman a woman is simply a satellite in a man's life. A man is a beacon, but a woman is a satellite, man. She's getting ready to enhance everything about you. So you telling me you gonna bring a woman on team on your team that doesn't move exactly like you? That, does, that doesn't walk and talk in the same energy you walk and talk in, brother? Brother, you have to be out of your mind. You have to be out of your... And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you from experience. 
And the only reason I'm saying this, man, is because a lot of guys like like the way you the way we look at women as men as a whole, man. Of course, we have that that those caveman instincts. Of course, we want the curves and the big booty and, and whatever other sexual extremities you're into. Right. Of course, you want that. But I'm telling you, I'm giving you the heads up that that the more you the more you dive into your purpose, the more the more you try to expand your brand, expand your company. Expand your social media presence, man. Brother, that woman in your life is going to have a whole lot to do with that, man. My landscapers would come while I'm, while I'm doing a video. She's going to have a lot to do with that, brothers. So choose wisely, man. Like I said yesterday, man, run every person through the, through the gauntlet before you put them on your team, bro. Check everyone at the door. Because, brothers, I'm telling you, she's either going to be adding to your purpose or completely robbing you of it.